Welcome to 1704 Ellis Circle. Today we are in Lafayette, Colorado, and we'll be looking at a three bedroom, three bath condo. This is a lovely little community. There are some mature trees here. You have a one car garage. This is my GMC parked right here. So it would fit outside, but it would not fit in the garage. So I think a smaller vehicle is what you would need for this one car garage. Look at all the lovely fall leaves. So beautiful today. My golden walkway. I'll give you a peek inside the one car garage. It does have uh, some shelving for some storage and an operator up there so you would get a remote. Um, you do have to keep your trash cans inside here per HOA, just an FYI. Okay. Let's go into the unit. So we have a few minor repairs to complete. Um, still, just things like this, this little screen um, and a touch up cleaning. But other than that, this property is ready to go. We have some plush new carpet throughout downstairs and upstairs. You have some LVP luxury vinyl planking flooring throughout this main level. Uh, light gray and white in here. It is nice and fresh and light and airy. You have, geez, two coat closets as you walk in here, um, which is cool. And then your half bath on the main level. Everything is lovely there. You even have an extra closet back here. This property has a ton of uh, storage. This is great. Okay. I'll close those and then we can keep on walking into the kitchen. All right, so we have a brand new stove in here, all matching appliances. There is a good amount of countertop space and lots of cabinet space for all your kitchen gadgets. You have, I guess, a little breakfast bar here. If you wanted to utilize it that way, you could absolutely fit, I think, two little stools there if you'd like. Otherwise, you have this area over here to work with. This appears to be a gas burning stove. You have um, some ceiling fans throughout the unit to help circulate the air, but this unit does have central air. So uh, nice and toasty with the furnace, gas forced air heating in the winter and uh, nice and cool with central air in the summer. I left the door open today so you can kind of have some indoor outdoor living here with this lovely patio. It still needs a little bit of a cleanup, but it is a good amount of space. Absolutely for a table, um, whatever you need it for. All right, so this is the downstairs area. May as well take you down there first. So again, that new carpet throughout. Laundry room, furnace, hot water heater, another storage uh, shelf back here, and some extra materials. You have high ceilings down here, so you don't have to worry about that at all, which makes it seem a lot larger. So into the restroom again, and you just have so much storage here. I love it. Those extra shelves are in the laundry room and we'll get those put back in. Nice tile. Custom tile shower. Into this basement area. Again, just uh, we need to uh, finish up our baseboards here. This is a really big room. This is a good size room. It is a true bedroom. There's an egress window right there. So you have an exit point. This closet is just a standard size closet. More storage though here under the stairs. Ta-da! Okay. Nice basement, nice and cozy for sure probably also stay really cool down there in uh, 
um, summertime, just being located in the basement. Okay, let's head upstairs now. I love this little um, kind of like a fake stained glass. It looks really pretty there. Like a vinyl covering, I guess you would call it. Okay, so here are the other two bedrooms. Let's go in here first. Spacious, super spacious in here. It's got kind of a little nook back there for maybe even a desk or a little love seat. Look at this huge closet. I guess I would consider this a master. All right. Another linen closet upstairs. Okay, lovely vanities. Updated fixtures, nice subway tile, that looks great. Into the second bedroom, which is the smaller of the two, but a good size. It's more of like a rectangle shape. Standard size closet. The view out of the window is pretty cool. Those nice mature trees, and it looks like you have a walking path, I think, back there, or at least some open green space, which is great. Outside of your back enclosed area, it looks like a little bit of a green belt area as well. All right, let's head on back downstairs. Take one more walk through the main living space here in the kitchen area. Fireplace living room. All right, thanks for watching.